this stays all day long. It's boyfriend approved. That's what made me buy more a month ago. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video because today I'm going to be doing a review on a brand that I talked about not long ago on my channel. If you see my unboxing Kylie Cosmetic video, you will have seen that I received a few new products from Kylie Jenner's brand called Kylie Cosmetics, which is a beauty brand, especially makeup brand. And basically I wanted to do a review on the products. I want to talk about the actual products today to you and explain all the products that I've ever bought from Kylie Cosmetics and what I think about it. The very first product I've ever bought from her brand was back in 2016 and I actually got her first ever glosses that she made and actually got her first lip gloss ever and this one was the color So Cute. So these were really the first type of glosses that she came up with and I remember wanting one right away. What is funny is that the color is very dark, very dark brown. It's really not my type of color at all. That's the reason why I did didn't use it as much as I could have. There's still quite a bit in there, but it's like four years old, so I better not wear it anymore. So I love the smell of it because it has this very like vanilla-y smell, very sweet. And I remember that it stayed on your lips for quite a long time, but still it wasn't that good of quality. I wasn't blown away by the quality basically. Um, however, it was my first lipstick or lip gloss from her and I was really excited. I remember that I actually received this little card in the mail with the packaging of the lip gloss. And and there's a little like little note behind and I love that she's still doing this now this was just the campaign for the lip glosses like that picture maybe you remember it that was my first purchase it was not the best but it was still very great to receive it following this in 2017 I remember that I did an internship at that time uh, summer 2017 and I was really missing new lip colors and I really wanted to try to buy something from Kylie Jenner's brand again and I basically got two matte liquid lipstick to have the right name and one my mom has it because I didn't really like it and the other one I've used it just a little it's completely dried up now because I haven't used it enough and I guess it just dried but it was from the Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner collection and it was this one and once again you can see that it's a very dark brown ish color and again it's not really something that suits me that well so unfortunately I didn't use it as much as I could have I really regret that because they're really great quality they really stay on all day I did wear it once to my internship um, um, or twice. Color was not my thing. I think I didn't search enough online about the color and just got like two random ones. It was not the best purchase, but it definitely did show its high quality. So I don't regret it because of the quality of it. Afterwards, I didn't really buy any makeup from her website anymore, mainly because the shipping is very expensive, especially to Switzerland and there's taxes and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't purchase anything up till the end of 2019, December, when I actually was in need of a red lipstick. And I didn't really want to go on and buy an actual lipstick because I feel like it's just too much like a red lipstick. It's way too visible. I, I didn't want something too visible either, but I had to wear red because I was working in sales for perfumes in December and they wanted us to wear red. So I thought, why not go on the website of Kylie and maybe find something? And luckily enough, she was doing free shipping in December or for a few days and actually bought two things, which I will show you now. First of all, I got for the first time a lip blush. So it's this one, as you can see, the packaging is beautiful and it's this light red color. I'm actually wearing it right now. I actually really like it a lot. Um, the texture is nice because it's a little bit liquidy, but once it's on your lips, it becomes matte and it stays all day. That's what made me buy more a month ago because this stays all day long. Like I can drink, I can eat. I was working in sales, you're we talking all the time and it still stays on. Like it never left my lips. So great quality. Only downside, which makes sense for something that stays on that is matte, is that your lips will get dry very easily but to me it was whatever because it was such a good quality in the same order i also got an eyeshadow because i also needed a sparkly eyeshadow and i basically got these little eyeshadow they're individual ones looks like this and my color is called brown sugar it's a very pretty um dark brown with some sparkles so it also stays all day long the sparkles are amazing the color is so beautiful it's really really worth it and i was extremely happy with the two things i got in december i forgot to mention that for my December order, 
and for the order that I received a month ago. I received this time this card as you saw in the unboxing. So this one is just called Kylie. I think it's mainly to promote her Kylie skin um, parts of like her brand because it's uh, written the same way and is the same color scheme. Go check out the unboxing because I explained more about that but I just wanted to say that for this. And now my order that I got a month ago was a bit bigger. I got a few things. First things I'll talk about is the little lip liner. The lip liner color is in You Are a Gem. So I already showed everything but I will show it again. So it was this dark red pink color. I've used it quite a bit um, so far. I would say that it doesn't really stay on your lip for a long time, especially if you talk, you drink, etc. But the color is perfect. I can wear any color I want, it will go as a lip liner. So I'm really happy with the color. And for a lip liner, the quality is still good because anyways, lip liner are not gonna last forever on your lips. I feel like it's really hard for it to stick and just stay the whole day. So yeah, for that, I'm, I'm very happy with the lip liner and the color is really just perfect. Afterwards, I also got an eyeliner. And this one, I think it's the highlight of all the Kylie cosmetic product I ever bought because I got a Kai liner in the color brown. So I think you remember it. I was saying in my unboxing that I don't really wear much black because I think it's a bit too much for me. So this brown one is perfect because that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was perfect for day and you know that I could wear whenever and just look good. And it looks great. I love it. I'm wearing it right now and it's easy to apply. So easy to apply even. The quality is amazing. I've worn this from like 7 in the morning a whole day at work. Um, I would come home at 5 six o'clock and then I would go to the gym till 7 30 and still have my eyeliner at the end of the day so it goes through a lot and for me that's the one of the best ones I've ever tried so I really recommend that one actually then I actually got another lip blush this time I got that one in bikini bod that's the name of it <laughs> and this one I was a bit scared at the beginning because as you can see it's a bit of a brown light brown color with a bit of a shade of pink actually it looks like that on your lips but weirdly enough it looks really good and I'm really happy with it. It's a bit the same um, like texture or formula as the other one I just showed before that I the, the red one that I'm wearing. It's just less drying which is funny. It's a great one. I'm really happy with it. I feel like it's long lasting but not as much as the red one so I don't know if they changed the formula in like a month or two and we're gonna finish the video with a powder. So as I was explaining uh, in my previous video, I love powders because I don't wear CC cream, BB cream or foundations. I only use concealer and powder and powder for me needs to be covering but not too covering. So for me, it's really hard to find the right uh, powder as simple as that. And I went for the Kylie cosmetic powder in the color You're Perfect and it's actually the pressed perfecting powder. So with that one, I'm, I guess that you guys remember it. I have a few things to say. First of all, I love this texture. I love how easy it is to apply on your face. It matches my skin tone perfectly. So if you're quite pale like me, go for the color You're Perfect. It's the best. Um, and yeah, it covers well and it's not too covering at the same time. And what is really funny is that it's boyfriend approved because I remember that the first day I wore it, my boyfriend actually saw the difference and said that it looked really mature, really chic, really nice. Otherwise, the only thing that I would say is a bit of a downside is that I don't think it's gonna last me for long because unfortunately I've been using it a lot as I did with my previous powders. My previous powders, they would last for at least a year. When this one, unfortunately, is used a lot already after just a month. So I'm very scared that by summer, I'm gonna be done with it already. So I don't know if that's normal for a powder. Let me know. Maybe I was just lucky with my previous powders that just lasted for a long time. Other than that, the quality of the product is amazing. So I have nothing to say. It's, it's a really good product. So this is all I ever bought from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't have a huge collection, but I do have a few things. I always try to take advantage of the free shipping or the different offers she might have because as I said the expensive thing is not the actual products because they're not expensive for good makeup products but it's more the shipping the taxes all that stuff that is a bit mm, ruins the experience but other than that I'm just so happy with that brand and if I ever need makeup I think I will always go for Kylie Cosmetics because it's just just tops everything else so yeah I really loved it I hope that review is interesting for you let me know if you've ever tried Kylie cosmetic products if you had a positive or a negative experience I'm very curious to know and other than that I will see you in my next video next week as always bye bye